time for some real education. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon is said to be one of the seven wonders of the ancient world listed by the Greeks. Created by a remarkable feat of engineering that allowed lavish water in the middle of a desert, they nourished an ascending series of tiered gardens containing a wide variety of trees, shrubs, and vines resembling a large green mountain constructed of mud bricks. Now, of all the seven wonders of the ancient world, we were a couple of months ago, we looked at one. It was the first one we looked at is the Colossus of Rhodes. Uh, but this one is interesting because the Hanging Gardens of Babylon is the only one of the monuments we don't know where it was. Don't know where it was, aren't exactly sure when it was, not completely sure if it even happened at all. We have a lot of evidence, and show some of the pictures, Mike. We, we've got images, we've got, go to the next two slides, you've got some actual uh, stone carvings from the era that depicts this kind of lush vegetation growing. Go to the last one there, uh, you get a sense of this kind of oasis paradise that you see from these cultures. According to one legend, the Hanging Gardens were built alongside a grand palace known as the Marvel of Mankind, there you go, by the Neo-Babylonian King Nebuchadnezzar II, who ruled between 605 and 562 BC for his median wife, Queen Amethyst, because she missed the green hills and valleys of her homeland. This was attested to by the Babylonian priest Barossus, writing about 290 BC, a description that was later quoted by the Jewish historian Josephus. The construction the of the Hanging Gardens has also been attributed to the legendary Queen Semiramis, who supposedly ruled Babylon in the 9th century BC, and they have been called the Hanging Gardens of Semiramis as an alternate name. The Hanging Gardens are the only one of the seven, and throw, throw that the stone one up, Mike. The Hanging Gardens.